Well, if all goes well, we'll probably go close to 100 miles today. I'm John Gloa. I'm the president of the Maine Wolf Coalition. We started the Maine Wolf Coalition in 1994 because we had evidence of wolves in Maine. We do not support reintroducing wolves to the state. We, uh, we believe wolves are returning to, uh, to Maine naturally, uh, the recolonizing the state. We have wolves close to 75 miles from the Maine border. Over the next two years, volunteers with our Citizen Science Project will be crisscrossing 5,000 square miles of the northern Maine woods looking for wolf scat and tracks. So we're going to um, measure it, we're going to document it, we're going to look at uh, the size, the length, the width, uh, see if it has hair in it, and then we're going to collect it and we're going to uh, preserve it in ethanol. And uh, when we get enough samples, we're going to collect roughly 100. When we get enough samples, we're going to um, send them to a lab in California and uh, do DNA testing. It's important that we do the research, that the research be done, because it's not being done now. It's not being done by the state or federal governments. It's not being done by any universities. It's being done by our little group. Right now, the government is doing nothing to determine the status of wolves in Maine. And in fact, it's putting any wolves now here at great risk by encouraging the killing of coyotes. Our project is gonna cost roughly $10,000, and we feel that that's a very small, small price to pay for um, d documenting whether or not we'd have wolves here. We need to prove, and we believe we can, that in fact wolves, uh, wolves are in Maine and that they need to get the protection that they're legally entitled to.